What's going on everybody? Welcome back to 909 Adventures. Uh, we're at a spot that kind of, uh, kind of disappointed me. When I found this spot, you know, researching online, it looked really cool, it looked awesome. So I wasted like two or three hours researching this place only to find out it's all been demolished. I'm staring at practically nothing right now, right there, right in front of me. Uh, there's just a tiny little building, maybe it was a guard shack at one point. Uh, oh, here. That. That's all that's left. And then uh, there's a radar station up here somewhere, back here. That's all that's left, guys. But uh, I wanted to make this video because I, I get messages every now and then about this place. Just to let you guys know that it is gone. It is no longer here. But we're gonna go up there to see what's left, just to see, you know, there's there's nothing, guys. I know there's nothing. There's just a bunch of slabs, um, but we can at least go up there and get the uh, the general layout of what used to be Boron. Uh, it used to be a military site. After it closed, uh, they turned it into a, I believe it was a federal prison, some sort of prison, jail. I don't know. Let's just get started, guys. Chopper one going into orbit. Over. Boron Air Force Station is a closed United States Air Force General Surveillance Station. It was closed by the Air Force in 1975 and turned over to the Federal Aviation Administration, also known as the FAA. The radar site is still operated by the FAA as part of the Joint Surveillance System. In 1979, Boron Air Force Station was converted into Federal Prison Camp Boron, a minimum security federal prison for male inmates and was closed in the year 2000. Now, before I read any further, I just want to let you guys know I am getting this information from Wikipedia, and anybody with a computer or a cell phone or basically access to the internet can uh, basically go on Wikipedia and edit uh, the, the website. As we were pulling up, there was a black government vehicle pulling out of the compound, which basically deterred me from wanting to even set foot onto the property. So thank goodness I had my drone on me. My drone basically saved the day. Now continuing to read from Wikipedia, it says the U.S. Department of Justice is currently investigating trespass activity onto FPC Boron. All identified incidents and trespassers are logged and trespassers may be subject to federal and state prosecution including imprisonment and or fines. So now that this isn't an active prison anymore, obviously everything's gone. Um, the only thing that's left there is the actual radar itself. Can you still get in trouble for being on this, uh, this land? Probably. Will anybody come after you? Probably not. So if you guys are going to come out and explore this, do that at your own risk.
course, we're gonna wanna see uh, what's exactly is inside of this little building. Snake pit. You think they did here, guys? Just a little, uh, little shack. Yeah. Definitely, uh, not gonna go in here. There's a lot of rat droppings. Don't want to get hand to. Let's go and uh, see what's see what's left. All right, guys, that's really gonna do it for this video. I really wanted to walk around this place. Uh, luckily, I had my drone on me, and I was able to uh, at least drone the place. As we were pulling up, there was your typical black government vehicle pulling out of the place. I think it was a black Chevy Tahoe. Uh, all tinted windows, something like you would see in the movies. It had government plates, so something told me that I probably should not be in there. Probably because of this radar. I don't know if it's still active. I don't think it is. I was able to fly my drone around it without any interference. So that kind of tells me that it's been decommissioned. But still, you know, if the government's in here, I don't want to be in here. You know, so... Anyways, guys, if you guys can hit that thumbs up for me on your way out. And YouTube is going to suggest that you watch one of these videos here on the screen next. Bartender, Coors Light, please.